Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to douche your butt using a handy dandy water bottle. Today we are using a Sprouts Farmer's Market 500 milliliter water bottle, but you can use, you know, any water bottle that you might like. Every bottom out there knows exactly how it feels when a hot dude texts us or DMs us and we're stranded far from home with no douching supplies in our backpacks and there's not a single sex shop in sight with access to those products. We're like, oh man, like how am I gonna bang? How am I gonna clean out? And then we we resort to, you know, desperate measures to deal with the desperate times. And so back then, gay dudes on Reddit would be like, oh yeah, like, you know, if you're stranded and there's no enema bulbs, use a water bottle, like it works really well. But they would like conveniently like leave out all the tips and how to actually do it. And so I would just, do that and hoped for the best. But fear not, you don't have to worry in confusion anymore about how to anal douche with a water bottle because I'm going to teach you. Before I get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And please check out my full bottoming course and my premium douche kits at the links below so that you do have the stuff that you need and so you don't have to use stuff like this. All right, let's just get into it. Step one is to poop. Pooping before you douche isn't like exclusive to douching with a water bottle. You should always poop before you douche using any products. You always wanna clean out like naturally so that there's no like poop chunks stuck in your rectum and then you have to like put water through that. Cause like one, it makes it uncomfortable for you cause you're like literally pushing poop back into your like your body and also like it makes it a little bit less effective because you would need to up your douching time to get rid of those pebbles in the first place and then having to clean out your rectum afterwards so definitely poop first so sit on that toilet and try to get them poop pebbles out if you feel like you can't poop just sit and try don't force yourself but like just you know let your body do its thing. Step number two is to make sure that the water is filled up all the way. This is an unopened water bottle and it like this is a good amount. If you're using a water bottle that like was lying around that you had already drunk out of, definitely like fill it up all the way with lukewarm water. Make sure it's not too hot and not too cold because if it's too cold, you're gonna get like a brain freeze but like in your butt and if it's too hot or too warm, you're gonna burn your butt and like unless you're into that, maybe don't do it. The reason why the water needs to be filled up all the way is because, and let me try to explain this the best way I can. When you squeeze a water bottle, like you know how it's full and then you squeeze and the water immediately like comes out because it's like full. Once you're, once you, if you squeeze all the way, like, okay, one squeeze of this will get the water in your butt, right? Because like the water's already up here. But let's say the water isn't filled up, right? Let's say, hold on. Okay, let's say the water isn't filled up, right? It takes a bigger squeeze and a longer squeeze to get that water into the rim and then into your butt. Now, now once it's all the way here, you just squeezed air, right? Like air. And now the water is here about to go in your butt and you literally already squeezed the bottle this much. And so you have to squeeze even more just to get that water in your butt. And then at that point, you're gonna lose your squeezing power and then there's no more bottle left to squeeze and then you have to refill it and redo the whole process and then you're gonna hate yourself. So I hope that explains it really well, but basically you have to fill it up all the way because it won't work. It just won't work, okay? God. Anyway, anyway, so uh, yeah, fill it up all the way. All right, step three is to Finally, I'm out of breath. Step three is to put this rim around your butthole. Notice how I don't say in. This rim isn't gonna go inside your butt because that will hurt. There's like ridges and shit. You know how like when you're douching with an enema bulb, like this entire tip is going in and that like secures the water in place. Like you'll know that the water's going in because like this whole thing is literally inside your butthole, right? That's not the case with a water bottle. This is like the hardest step. This isn't gonna go in your butt, so you wanna press this very firmly around your hole. Step three, again, is to press this rim firmly around your butthole. The reason why you wanna press this firmly into your butthole is because we don't have the luxury of like securing the tip in place and then squirting water into your butt. If this rim isn't pressed firmly against your butthole, when you squeeze the water in, it's gonna leak. And if it leaks, the water won't be going into your butt and then you're gonna be like, ugh. Why is water leaking down my thighs? Did any water get in your butt? And then in reality, like nothing's going in your butt. 
literally it all just leaked out. Let me demonstrate, okay? Let's say this is like my hole and then like my butt like is in there and I press it firmly, right? Okay, obviously right now I can't press it firmly because physics, I literally can't because I'm pressing it so firmly so like I can't push anything. But if my hole was there, this would successfully go in because that hole is like an entryway. Now let's say I'm not pressing it firmly like this. You're gonna end up pushing the water and then it's not gonna go in your hole. It's gonna do that. And now I'm fully wet. But basically, do you get what I mean? Like, do you get it? Just, I can't demonstrate because I don't wanna like, I don't wanna show my hole in here, you know? Like, just press this firmly against your butthole, around the hole, and then we're good to go. Step four is to finally squeeze the water into your butt. Now, imagine this is like full. You know what? There you go. After you've pressed the rim against your hole, Step four is to finally put the water in. So you're gonna take a deep breath. You are going to simultaneously push out with your butt while squeezing this bottle. Why do you wanna push out, you may ask? Because your butthole will be closed unless you actively tell it to open up. How do you open up? By pushing out. How do you push out? By telling your mind that you're pooping. You're basically gonna tell your mind that you're pooping into this water bottle filled with water because that's the only way your butt will open up its muscles. You know how I told you to poop in step one? This is part of the reason why. You're not gonna actually poop into the water bottle because there's no poop to poop out. You're just gonna relax your mind, tell your mind I'm pooping, and then as you're doing that, when you open up your butt muscles, squeeze the bottle and successfully put the water in. That is the only way to put the water in because otherwise, if you don't tell your mind to poop while you push this in, your hole will be like a wall. You saw what happened when there was a wall. It's gonna not go in and then you're eventually gonna move it around to see why isn't it going in and it's gonna leak out. So, yeah, man. You also don't wanna squeeze too hard too fast. You wanna test it a little bit. So like, Push out with your mind, oh, I'm pooping, and then maybe squeeze a little bit to make sure the water's going in. You'll you'll feel it if it's going in. And then you can, you know, continue pushing it in more because if you squeeze too hard too fast and it leaks, you're gonna have to like refill the water and then like you have to squeeze it harder. It's just a mess. So just, you know, test it out a little bit. It's also important in this step four to remember that you're not putting that much water in. You don't wanna put in the entire contents of this water bottle because girl, this is 500 milliliters of water. That's a lot of fucking water to go in your butt. The reason why you want to pay attention to this is because if you put too much water in your butt, and this only happened to me a few times, if the water goes past your rectum, you could trigger poops like literally in your colons area, like deep in your body that like poops that didn't need to be cleaned out in the first place. They, they weren't even like gonna, gonna bother you until like the next morning. And if you trigger these poops, you're gonna be extra dirty and you're gonna have to end up cleaning out for like two whole hours because at that point it's like a whole avalanche down there. Like you don't wanna trigger more than you need to. You only wanna clean out your rectum. So that's why I say, you know, don't go past like half of this bottle. Honestly, I'm fine going like just a little bit over a quarter, like a third of this bottle is enough. Definitely not the whole bottle. Like you don't wanna put the whole water bottle in your butt, okay? The only reason why I said to fill it up all the way is because you want it to be easier to squeeze. We are not putting more than half of this bottle in our butts, okay? Step five, leave the water in your butt for 30 seconds to like a minute. I like to do a little shake. Like I like to shake my butt in this step because I put on music or like if I'm at the gym or somewhere else like I guess I can't do this but like I like to shake it a little bit and jump around because in my mind it's like oh you're helping yourself clean out when in reality it's probably not the case but like it's fun okay so I like to shake my my butt and like I like to you know move around a little bit leave it in for that amount of time because I want to like actually let it effectively clean out while I do this I like to refill the water you're gonna be douching three to five rounds. And so I like to refill the water all the way up, like I said, because of obvious reasons. And after that, just basically poop out the water. It's not gonna be clean at first. It's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be like chunks of little pebbles and poop there in the beginning, but don't worry. That is very, very normal. You're cleaning out for the vitamin D. After that, you're pretty much just gonna repeat steps three, 
to five. You're gonna repeat this process until the water that you're pooping out when you're douching is crystal clear. And at that point, that's how you know that your butt is clean and ready. Oh my God. That your butt is clean and ready for the cockadoodle doo, for the rooster, for the vitamin D. And so yeah, that's how you douche with a water bottle. I pretty much abused this bottle, but ignore that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it, even though I got wet and not in the way that I like to. Please again, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. It really does help out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also please check out my premium douche kits. They come with an enema bulb that pulls water from the bottom of the bulb. So it never has to be like fully, like full anyway. And this is also a good amount to put in. So all you need is one squeeze. You don't have to worry like, oh, how much am I putting it in? My douche kits also come with lube and an instruction manual and like a whole letter by me and a condom and it, it's a whole thing. So just, you know, hit the link in my description to check them out for more info on them. Um, these enemas again are really, really good. I've never seen one like this. They also come in black. And they've truly just changed the game for me when it comes to like butt douching. So check these out, link in description. I also have a full douching tutorial like explicitly in my bottoming course um, also at the link below. So check that out too. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this. This was really fun to make. Leave a comment below and tell me what you'd like to see next um, and what you need to know, you know, about douching or about bottoming, whatever. What a fun video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.